I would like to uh, speak to uh, your question with regard to the UNHCR's adjudication. And I believe that there's definite need of improvement. Uh, one of the reasons for why it occurred in terms of denial rates being so high is that they have a, an unbalanced um, uh, burden of proof placed upon them, a skepticism. We have, uh, we had a UNHCR official uh, describe how th just the basic skepticism of Pakistani Christians, asylum seekers there that demonstrated that they are probably system-wide within Bangkok not uh, effectively handling these cases. Um, from 2016 to 2017, there was an effort to bring backlogs down. What they did was rush cases through. The fastest way uh, for doing th that is to deny them. And that also uh, came with adverse credibility claims. With an adverse credibility claim, you have almost no chance on any appeal and you're left uh, hopeless. Um, the anecdotal evidence we have and information we have is significant in terms of, of the numbers. I would also like to point out that um, uh, the UNHCR, their own reports are, are demonstrating that Pakistani Christians suffer persecution. One of the examples I gave in my testimony I submitted is that of Talib Masi. Talib Masi was listed in their own report prior to them denying his case for asylum uh, in Bangkok. And uh, we worked very hard. His case has been reversed, uh, but now he has no place to go. He can't come. He's not been referred to any com country at this stage one year later for resettlement. So we're, we're remaining concerned about him and others that should be uh, resettled. And if I 